The massive spaceship Horizon glided among the sparkling stars, heading toward the crystal planet. The interior of the ship was modern and technologically advanced, adorned with corridors filled with bright lights. The crew was aware of the seriousness of their mission. They were there to form an alliance with one of the most advanced alien species in the galaxy. Commander Sarah Blake stood on the bridge, looking at the star map. Beside her sat her loyal dogs. Lexi and Max accompanying them were science officer Dr. Ethan Ross and security chief Captain Liam Torres. Commander Blake, we're five minutes away from the crystal planet, Ethan said with a smile. I can't wait to see this planet full of crystal structures. Me too, Sarah said, petting her dogs. But we must remember, this is not just an exploration mission, it's also an important diplomatic task. As the spaceship landed on the crystal planet, a shining city appeared before the crew's eyes. The crystal structures gleamed in colorful hues under the sunlight. The streets of Glamiria were paved with crystal stones, producing a soft chime with every step. The streets were connected by elegant bridges at different levels. These bridges provided easy access to various parts of the city. Under each bridge flowed clear rivers of crystal water, regulating the city's energy flow and providing tranquility to its inhabitants. The homes in Glamiria were a blend of modern and ancient architecture. Houses were surrounded by crystal walls and equipped with large glass windows. These windows reflected the outside sparkle into the interiors, providing natural lighting. In front of each house were small crystal gardens and light-emitting flowers. Sarah and her team were mesmerized when they arrived at Shalandra, one of the largest and oldest cities of the Crystallians. The Crystal City was one of the galaxy's greatest wonders, with all its splendor and mystery. From a distance, Shalandra shone like a jewel. Enormous crystal towers rose into the sky, shimmering in different colors throughout the day. The Zirconium Tower, the tallest and brightest structure, stood at the city's center. At night, this tower illuminated the entire city and its surroundings like a beacon of light. As Sarah and her team advanced toward Crystal Square, the heart of Shalandra, they were greeted by the Crystallians, the planet's natives. The Crystallians, with their tall and elegant figures and shimmering crystal garments, welcomed them warmly. Air Kale, the leader of the Crystallians, walked towards them. Humans, welcome, he said. We are pleased to see you here. Sarah stepped forward with her team. Air Kale, thank you for your hospitality. We hope to form an alliance for the peace and prosperity of our galaxy. Kale smiled. Our discussions will be successful, he said. As the negotiations continued, Sarah and her team began to mingle with the locals by walking around the planet's streets. However, Sarah's dogs, Lexi and Max, started to behave restlessly. Trusting their instincts, Sarah took this situation seriously. Ethan, our dogs are sensing something, Sarah said worriedly. It's not normal for them to be this uneasy. Ethan nodded. Maybe the energy of the crystal planet is affecting them. But we should still be careful. Guided by the dogs, Sarah and her team moved away from the city into a darker and more secluded area. Here, in a place where even the Crystallians rarely ventured, they felt a dangerous and hostile energy. Lexi and Max stopped at one point and started barking. When Ethan looked where the dogs indicated, he said, There's something here. After their discovery, Sarah reported the situation to Kale. Kale burst into laughter that echoed through the hall. The council members all laughed as well. Kale said, So, you mean to tell us that your dogs have detected a threat that our advanced crystalline radar systems missed? Sarah, raising her voice, retorted, Are you underestimating our dogs' instincts? We humans trust them greatly. They are our most loyal companions. Kale stopped laughing and said, Very well, we trust you. Let's take action then. When they delved deeper into their investigation, 
they discovered the presence of another race trying to incite conflict between the humans and Crystallians and had infiltrated the planet. Initially, the Crystallians were skeptical of the humans' methods, but Sarah proved how strong the dog's instincts were and that they had found the threat. Kale said, We may have been prejudiced against human methods, but now it is time to unite. Preparing together, the humans and Crystallians combined their forces to fight against the hidden threat. Kale looked at the dogs and asked, Will Lexi and Max join us in the battle? Sarah smiled. Yes, they are part of our team, and their instincts might help us. In the crystal streets of Glamyria, the conflict between the Alliance forces and the Zarathians raged on. Max suddenly found himself facing a dangerous enemy, one of the Zarathians' strongest warriors, Karnak. With his powerful armor and energy sword, Karnak was an intimidating figure. When Max caught the scent of his enemy, he immediately assumed an attack position. Karnak greeted Max with a mocking smile and drew his energy sword. Max advanced cautiously, never taking his eyes off the enemy's movements. In a mocking tone, Karnak said, Do you think a dog can stop me? I will toy with you. Max barked and charged. Karnak swung his sword, deflecting Max's attack, but Max quickly sidestepped and landed a claw strike on Karnak's armor. The surface of the armor was scratched, and Karnak retreated in unexpected pain. Max's first strike had angered Karnak. Karnak swung his energy sword, pushing Max back. Max narrowly avoided the sword's blow, but the energy grazed his leg, leaving a deep wound. Despite the pain, Max continued to fight. Angrily, Karnak said, These minor wounds won't stop you, but my attacks will destroy you. Despite his wounded leg, Max moved swiftly around Karnak, trying to confuse him. Karnak struggled to keep up with Max's speed. Max found an exposed spot and with a powerful bite, tore through Karnak's arm armor, creating a deep wound. Karnak retreated in pain and swung his energy sword more furiously. As the fight intensified, both Max and Karnak suffered serious injuries. Max's leg was bleeding and his movements had slowed, but his determination and resolve remained intact. Karnak was losing strength due to the deep wound on his arm. Max gathered his strength for a final attack. As Karnak brought his energy sword down on Max, Max leaped swiftly onto Karnak. Karnak's sword inflicted a deep wound on Max's shoulder, but Max's powerful bite to Karnak's neck brought him to the ground. As Karnak writhed in pain on the ground, Max stood wounded but triumphant. Karnak attempted a final move, but Max, with his claws, rendered him powerless. The enemy was defeated, but Max was seriously injured. Seeing Max's struggle, Sarah and her team rushed to his aid. Dr. Ethan Ross quickly tried to treat Max's wounds, saying, This dog is truly incredible. Defeating an enemy like Karnak is a major feat. Captain Liam Torres gently petted Max, saying, Great job, Max. Sarah knelt beside Max, saying, You are our hero, Max rest and heal, we still have much to do. Despite the pain, Max responded with a soft bark, satisfied with the victory. At the end of the battle, the humans and Crystallians emerged victorious. The enemy race was completely defeated, and peace was restored to the planet. Kale turned to Sarah and her team, saying, Thanks to you, we have been saved from a great danger. Sarah smiled. We have also realized once again how important our alliance is. Together, we can now build a stronger galaxy. Kale nodded. We apologize for underestimating humans. Though our technology is advanced, your methods and bravery proved much more effective than we imagined. Especially your dogs, he added with a smile. After the war, the Crystallians and humans began organizing exploratory expeditions into the deeper parts of the planet. Sarah and her team visited one of the oldest temples of the Crystallians. Here, 
they found mysterious inscriptions and statues from the past. Dr. Ethan Ross's eyes lit up as he examined the ancient inscriptions. These inscriptions indicate that the Crystallians fought another galactic war thousands of years ago. This information could help us prepare for future threats. Varys Kale carefully examined the inscriptions. This temple was built as a symbol of peace after a great war. However, the writings warn that another enemy still exists and will return. Sarah took the situation seriously. This means there are still threats in our galaxy. Who could this enemy be? Sarah and her team decided to form alliances with other galactic species, not just the Crystallians. To this end, an interplanetary conference was organized, attended by many leaders from different galaxies. During the conference, Varys Kale gave a speech. Expanding our alliance is crucial for the security of our galaxy. With the knowledge and abilities of each species, we can be stronger. As Sarah watched how the Crystallians interacted with other galactic leaders, she remarked, This alliance is an important step to maintaining peace. However, we must be cautious, as each species has its own interests. During the conference, a group of mysterious aliens began planning to disrupt the alliance. Sarah and her team noticed this threat and started investigating the situation. Dr. Ethan Ross set up various technological devices to ensure the security of the conference, saying, these aliens will do anything to disrupt the alliance. Everyone must be vigilant. Captain Liam Torres increased the security measures, saying, it will be difficult to distinguish between friends and foes among these species. To trace the betrayal, Sarah and her team decided to explore one of the oldest structures of the Crystallians, the Crystal Palace. According to legends, this palace held the greatest secrets and powers of the galaxy. As Sarah, Ethan, Liam, and the dogs Lexi and Max approached the palace, their excitement and curiosity grew. Dr. Ethan Ross, examining the inscriptions at the entrance of the palace, said, These structures were built thousands of years ago. The information we find here could tell us much about the galaxy's past and future. Captain Liam Torres, carefully scanning the corridors, said, Such an old structure is likely to contain many traps and dangers. We must be cautious. Sarah, letting her dogs lead, said, I trust Lexi and Max's instincts. They will guide us. As they ventured deeper into the palace, the team encountered crystal guards. These guards were ancient robotic entities powered by crystal energy, programmed to protect the palace. Sensing the approach of the guards, Lexi and Max began barking. Analyzing the behavior of the guards, Ethan said, these guards attack only what they perceive as threats. We need to find a way to neutralize them. Sarah, making a strategic move, asked, Ethan, is there a way to cut off the guards' energy sources? Using his devices quickly, Ethan replied, Yes, we can emit an electromagnetic wave to cut off their energy sources. This will temporarily disable them. After neutralizing the guards, the team reached a hidden room deep within the palace. This room contained ancient Crystallian inscriptions and holographic records. Sarah and her team began to examine this information. Dr. Ethan Ross, deciphering the holographic records, said, These records tell the history of the Crystallians' wars against their ancient enemies. They also show the locations of ancient power sources in different regions of the galaxy. Understanding the importance of this information, Sarah said, These power sources could be crucial for our Alliance's future. We need to examine this information carefully and make strategic plans. Each power source might be protected by ancient guardians or traps. After a challenging struggle, Sarah and her team secured the ancient power source. This power source would meet the Alliance's energy needs and strengthen their defense systems. As Sarah and her team continued to track down the elusive traitor network, they discovered a gateway marked on the Crystallian star maps. This gateway was an interstellar tunnel that opened to the far corners of the galaxy, holding great strategic importance. However, 
It was said that a dangerous enemy awaited at the other end of the tunnel. Dr. Ethan Ross, examining the star map, said, This tunnel leads to the most distant and unexplored regions of the galaxy. However, there could be dangers here that we've never encountered before. Captain Liam Torres, increasing security measures, added, Gaining control of this gateway would be a significant advantage for our alliance. But we must be cautious, as we don't know what awaits us on the other side. When the team reached the other end of the tunnel, they found themselves on a dark and dangerous planet. This planet was being used as a base by an ancient enemy and had powerful defense systems enhanced with crystal energy. Lexi and Max sensed the danger and warned the team. Analyzing the planet's energy structure, Ethan said, This planet runs on crystal energy. The defense systems could be very powerful. Sarah, devising a strategic attack plan, instructed, Liam, distract the enemy with your security team. Ethan, try to identify and neutralize the energy sources. Lexi and Max, protect us. The team began fighting against the enemy's powerful crystal defense systems. These systems were filled with laser weapons and traps powered by crystal energy. Sarah and her team made strategic moves to overcome these traps. Captain Liam Torres, leading an attack to distract the enemy, said, These defense systems are very powerful, but so are we. Dr. Ethan Ross, identifying the energy sources, said, Cutting off the energy sources of these systems will neutralize them, but we must be careful, as there could be traps with every step we take. The team bypassed the defense systems and reached the enemy's center. Here, they found the base of the Zarathians, one of the galaxy's most dangerous enemies. Finally, the trail of betrayal had been found. The Zarathians had built a massive war machine using crystal energy. As Lexi and Max approached the enemy's center, they became even more agitated. Trusting her dog's instincts, Sarah said, this is the enemy's strongest defense line, but we can defeat them by working together. When the great battle began, alliance forces from all over the galaxy joined the fight against the Zarathians. The Crystallians formed a strong defensive line. Leading his soldiers, Captain Liam Torres said, this battle will showcase the strength of our alliance, but we must be careful, as the Zarathians are very powerful. Lexi and Max advanced through the enemy lines, identifying the Zarathians' weak points. Sarah, guided by her dogs, organized strategic attacks. At the end of the battle, the Alliance forces achieved a great victory. The Zarathians' base was destroyed, and the Crystal Planet was once again at peace. Sarah and her team had taken a significant step toward securing the galaxy. Varys Kale, thanking Sarah and her team, said, Thanks to your courage and determination, our galaxy has become a safer and more peaceful place. By working together, we can overcome all future challenges, while patting Max on the head. After the Council, Sarah and her team embarked on new missions. During these missions, they forged new friendships in different regions of the galaxy and strengthened their alliance. I hope you had a good time. If you liked my story, do not forget to comment and subscribe to my channel. Goodbye. See you in the next story.